Welcome to the Personal and Commercial Lines tutorial for renewals and rewrites in EasyLinks. In this tutorial, you will learn the process for documenting and tracking renewals and rewrites in EasyLinks using Retention Center. Retention Center gives you the ability to proactively interact with each customer before they receive the renewal, giving you a great opportunity to reinforce the value of your agency. Our studies have shown, on average, agencies that follow our recommended process see an 8-point increase in retention. Retention Center is designed as a triage tool to help agencies proactively manage their renewals to increase retention and customer satisfaction. To see the best results, we recommend checking for new renewal offers every day. Please watch Retention Center basics and navigation and Retention Center setup and settings before this video. Additionally, please follow your agency's guidelines for deciding what is a high or low risk policy based on the premium percent change, customer value, and market conditions. To get started, hover over the Retention Center icon and click on Overview. Here, you can review your renewal, expiration, and expired lists. We'll start on the renewal list, which is where you'll work most renewals. This list populates based on the renewal offer for the insured coming into the management system. This typically happens 20 to 45 days before renewal for downloading policies and can happen at any point a manual renewal offer is documented for an active policy. Once the first renewal offer is received, the system moves all policies for that customer that fall within the renewal range to the renewal list. This way, the renewal manager can manage the relationship for the entire renewing account. This list is time-sensitive because there's a short window to communicate proactively with the insured once the carrier sends the renewal offer. Therefore, checking this list daily is important to keep ahead of renewals. The next one is the expiration list, and all insureds will begin on this list. Once a carrier sends the first renewal offer, the insured's entire account will move to the renewal list. The only accounts you need to work from this list will be ones that are manual only or those that trigger the expiration warning. Renewal managers can identify the insureds that will not automatically move to the renewal list by filtering for manual only in the view filter. Insureds accounts who trigger the expiration warning indication, which can be enabled in settings, are typically customers where something went wrong. They're either a manual account that was missed or there was an error in the carrier offering the renewal. These accounts will require additional follow-up prior to their expiration. Next is the expired list, which contains insureds whose policies are past the expiration date and don't have a renewal in the system. In most cases, it should be empty, but if you do have a policy, it may be due to needing to enter manual policy information from a non-downloading carrier, or not retaining the customer without updating retention center. If there is an active renewal or rewritten policy for the account, it will not show up in this list. Moving back to the renewal list, for low-risk clients the first step is to communicate to your client that their policy has been reviewed and remains competitive. You can send an email in bulk to low-risk clients letting them know their policy is renewed, remains competitive, and that they can reach you for any questions. Proactively communicating with insureds reinforces the value of your agency and reduces price sensitivity when receiving the renewal in the mail. We suggest adding a note confirming the renewal for your low-risk clients. This is important documentation for E and O purposes. To add a mass note, make sure the appropriate insureds are selected. Now, click Actions, then add note or task. Here, type a note and notice the option to close insured from list. If you check this, it will close the insured after the note is saved. In this case, we will not because further action is required. To send the emails, check the checkbox for the appropriate insured or insureds. Next, click Actions, then click Send Email Campaign and select a template. Retention Center has pre-made Agency Insight templates to choose from. In this case, we'll select the Generic Renewal Competitive Campaign. Please note, you can also use this time to send a cross-sell email for additional lines of business using the other Agency Insight templates. To learn more about campaign templates, watch how to create email campaign templates. Additionally, you can check the box Close Insured from list if you'd like to close them after sending the email campaign. Please only click this option if no further action is needed for the insured, as it will remove them from the renewal list and there is no way to place them back into Retention Center. Now that the note is added and renewal offer verified, you can close clients from the Retention Center list. 
To do this, select the insured or insureds, then click actions and close. Please note, downloading policies will stay in the pending status until the renewal date. To document a renewal for manual policies, navigate to the client's overview page and click on policy actions. Now, hover over service, then click renew. You can follow the same workflow on the policy tab and on the policy detail page. On the Renew Policy shell, update any necessary information then, click Renew. If you need to update any information not found on the policy shell, click Renew and Edit Policy. Again, you'll want to follow your agency's recommended guidelines for updating any billing or other information in the management system. Next, we'll cover high-risk renewals. These renewals should be handled one by one. First, review the policy to determine if remarketing is required. For example, there could have been a midterm policy change causing a premium increase. To find out, we'll view the difference report to show us the difference between the current policy and the upcoming renewal. To do so, click on the line item to expand. Here, you can see quick reference labels that we call change reasons. When a renewal comes in, EasyLinks performs a software analysis, which populates these change reasons. However, it's still good practice to check the difference report for specifics. Go ahead and click on the difference report. Here, you can change the version of the policy for comparison to see the difference. Changes in premium are highlighted in yellow. Version 1 differences are in green and version 2 differences are in red. This is a quick and useful tool to help spot differences for premium change and keeps you from going to the carrier site for each client to spot a change. Be sure to add a note with the findings by selecting the insured, clicking actions, and selecting add note or task. Also, you'll want to communicate to the insured that the policy has been reviewed and remains competitive. Once you've completed these steps, you can close the insured from the renewal list like we mentioned before and update any policy according to your agency guidelines. Next, let's cover high-risk policies that your agency finds non-competitive or the carrier non-renewed the policy. After viewing the difference report, communicate to the insured that your agency will quote renewals with additional carriers. You can do this by using the email or text icon in the expanded view in Retention Center or use an agency insight template for an email campaign. Additionally, it's helpful to add a note for the renewal not being competitive. Then, add a task to start the quoting process based on your agency's guidelines. We recommend closing the insured from Retention Center once the requote task has been assigned. However, depending on your agency's guidelines, you may keep them in the list and assign them to the renewal manager. Please note, this is a good time to export and securely share policy schedules with your client via Client Center and verify all the information needed to begin the remarketing process. To learn more about Client Center, watch Client Center for Agents. If you do not have Client Center, you can do this process via email or text. Additionally, you can use the share icon to have your insured confirm their personal information is still accurate. Check out our How to Send Pearl Links video to learn more. For personal lines, you can remarket the policy using the Personal Lines Rater. To learn about the Personal Lines Rater, watch Comparative Rater quoting for personal lines. For commercial lines, you can remarket using the carrier site or submission center when possible. For a manual policy, you'll want to prepare the appropriate forms and supplementals to send to the carrier for quotes. Once the policy is remarketed and your insured has a new policy, you can close the insured from your renewal list, close any associated tasks, and update any policies. Now, let's move on to renewal rewrites. EasyLinks classifies rewrites as policies that are remarketed during renewal time with a different carrier. Rewrites can be done because of high premiums, non-renewals, or perhaps offering better coverages with another carrier. On the other hand, if you renew the same policy with the same carrier for another term, that is considered a renewal. If the policy downloads and it's a rewrite, please be sure to set the transaction type as a rewrite. We ask you to do this because the carrier will send it over as a new business transaction. Next, you'll want to associate the expiring policy accordingly, so the data in your management system will be accurate. To do this, navigate to the renewal on your customer's account. Click on Policy Actions, then select Edit. Here, you can change the transaction type to Rewrite. 
Next, select the policy that it's rewrite of from the drop-down menu, then click Save. For non-downloading carriers, you'll need to document the rewrite manually. To do this, navigate to the Insured's Overview page. Next, click on Actions, then Add Policy. Change the transaction type to rewrite and complete the necessary information. Once you add the new policy under the new carrier, you may need to cancel the existing or expiring policy with the prior carrier. To do this, click on the kebab icon next to the policy via the customer's overview or policies page. Next, click on service, then cancel. On the cancel policy page, select cancel rewrite under the cancel type drop-down. Enter the cancellation return premium, if applicable, then click cancel policy. Once again, this will move the policy into an inactive status. To learn more about manual policies, please watch our how to create manual policies video. Lastly, we'll discuss automated personal lines renewal quoting. Retention Center Automated Rating is designed for high-risk personal lines accounts. Please keep in mind, this is currently only offered for auto and homeowner policies. This automated remarketing will add intelligent decision points where the system will provide a retention score and, under certain parameters, perform automatic rating. For those with Retention Center admin access, you can configure this feature within Retention Center settings under the Automated Rating tab. The Retention Center threshold setting will allow you to determine which date to use for automated rating, renewal data, or application data. Thus, if application data hasn't been updated in over X number of days, the renewal takes priority. If applicant data has been updated in the last X number of days, then application data takes priority. The number of days you can choose from here are 30, 60, and 90. Don't forget to click Save when you're done. In order to generate an accurate quote using Retention Center, you must have a pre-configured template for both the homeowner and auto lines of business. From the drop-down menu, you can either pick an existing quoting template or create a new one. If you select a new template, you'll be redirected to the quoting automation page to properly configure it for the chosen line of business. If your selected template doesn't correspond with any carrier, an error message will appear prompting you to edit your selection or choose a different template. Once you've set up your quote template preferences in the settings, you can automatically generate quotes with a simple button click. Navigate to the Renewal list on the Retention Center Overview page. Here, look for high-risk accounts and ensure that they're associated with either a homeowner or auto policy. If applicable, you'll find the Get Quote button upon expanding the account to see more details. Just click on the button to see the output. The quotes that appear will correspond to your choices and set up within the selected quoting template. To view your quotes with more information just click on the View Quotes link and the system will redirect you to the quotes page of the customer's account. Please note, if no templates have been set up on the settings page, the system will display an alert message informing you of this. You'll then have the option to be redirected to select an existing one or create a new one. If there's invalid data in the application level, the system will alert you and redirect you to correct your application and submit it again. After retrieving your quotes, if there are errors originating from the carrier side, the system will notify you and provide you with the option to review these errors. As soon as you press the Get Quote button and view the results, a notification will be received, system log will be logged, and a task will be created. That's all for this tutorial on renewals and rewrites for personal and commercial lines. You should now have the knowledge to document and track renewals and rewrites in easy links. Thanks for watching.